Good morning, greetings, and salutations, YouTube. It's Hedrin here. Welcome to another episode of the vlog. It's, it's not bright and early. It's just, like, dark and mid-morning-y. I don't know. It's like 9 a.m. Um, I'm supposed to be somewhere at 10, so I'm heading out right now. Hopefully I don't get stuck in traffic. I was trying to leave a little earlier, but I'm really horrible at um, being super early. Like, I think I'll still be like a little early, but it's okay. Um, I'm going somewhere. I'm going to the thrift store, or to the Goodwill, and then um, I have an appointment. And I don't know if I can tell you guys yet, and this is what I was telling you guys yesterday, like... Um, I'll let you guys know when it happens, but if I can tell you guys now, I'll let you know later on in the vlog, but right now we're going to head out. I'm going to start driving already because I don't want to be late, um, so let's go. Hey I'm so excited. So I just finished filming something for the Goodwill. It was so much fun, um, but it's going to be up sometime next month. I'll let you guys know when it's up, but yeah, so... I'm very excited. It was hey you guys, so I'm inside the car right now. That was so awesome. Like that whole like thing with the goodwill. It was really cool. They just like filmed a little something with me and I am like kind of obsessed. It was really fun. Um I can't wait for it to go up and I'll let you guys know when it is. It's not like anything major or anything, but just it was just fun. Um it was I've never experienced anything like that before and I was pretty nervous, so I don't even know how it turned out. We kind of just did it all um in like one take and they're like, "Uh, oh, do you want to like change anything?" And I was like, "Uh, uh, I don't know." So I was just like, "No, I'm sure it's fine." <laughs> I didn't want to watch anything back because that's how I am with like my regular videos that I make I just do everything pretty much in one take. I hardly ever edit anything and that's like one of the main reasons why I can do two videos a day because I really just kind of just um, Do it all in one go so uh, anyways um, if you want to see the thrifting video that um, I just filmed right now in that store after I did the thing with the Goodwill, then don't forget to subscribe because that video will go up very soon, if not already. It's, yeah, it's probably going to go up like tomorrow or in two days or something. But um, right now, um, we're going to go head out and maybe do a little bit more thrifting. So let's go. There we are. Whoops, better in thrift. Let's go inside. First thing I spotted is this coach but it's $25 I think I'll pass on it so I'm going to wait to see if it goes on sale I'm kind of cracking up because this is a super fake Hermes Kelly $5 though this fossil is going to be $8 this Bimikasu is going to be $12 but there's a lot of color loss especially on the front and then they have this Super nice coach in purple. It's in great condition, but it's 60 bucks. Alright, you guys, I found this little coach. This one's five bucks. Um, there's this one that's like $75. It is half off, but it's really expensive for a little one. Little bag, it's like a little fakey Chanel reissue. Steve Mikowski's been here. I'm dying for these fans, but they're $30. The flamingos are so cute. There's also these Adidas equipment, size 11 and a half. How much are these? $35. Adidas Samoa. This light pink is very on trend. How much are these? $50. Nike is. You guys, these Padilla mugs are still here. They're gonna be 75% off. Oh, they got some new Chanel sunglasses. All oh, this other Chanel stuff though is fake. Checking out the bags. Over here to see what we have. French Connection. This Claiborne I just found this coach right here sitting it's thirty dollars though and it's not on sale at all but it's in really good condition 
there's that Louis Vuitton up there. I just looked at it and I don't know, I feel like it might be real. There's like a slight chance. It is 300 though, but I sent photos to my friend to see if they can authenticate it for me. So I'm just looking around some more. Is this Pyrex? Oh, it is. Three dollars. How much is this guy? Five dollars. I'm just taking a look through these hair products that they have here. They have that Paul Mitchell, but it's like almost empty. It's so random, like herbal essence. It's like opened. <laughs> Ooh, a Pepsi. How much is that? Alright you guys, I actually left the store empty handed. Uh, we're gonna head over to the Goodwill. I, it was like the store, I didn't end up getting anything though. There was like a super long line. I didn't really want to wait and it was getting really hot inside. Um, so I was just like, you know what? I'm just gonna come back like in a day or two once they restock. Cause literally on Tuesdays, this place gets like raided <laughs> by people thrifting and shopping. Um, because I've been here other days, like in the morning when it opens, kind of, around that time. And there's not really too much traffic early in the morning. But, like, on Tuesdays, people come in droves. So, and the parking lot right now is actually full, too. So, um, anyway, we're going to head over to the Goodwill by the house. And then get go head home. Mom made some paninis, which I'm very excited about. So, let's go. Alright you guys, last Goodwill of the day. Let's head inside and check it out. There's like a lot of people in the parking lot and I can see a line already inside. So I don't know what's up. Sale? <laughs> Oops, sorry you guys. <laughs> but we are looking through the handbags as per usual. Let's actually run back there and check out the carts. Oh, look at these coach shoes. Oh, look at these Nikes. Nike high tops. Some Converse, some Vans. Personal survival emergency kit. Okay. Don't really see anything too super exciting. Little Nine West bag right there. Ooh, little Michael Kors flats. They're kind of messed up though. $9.99. Some Ralph Lauren plates. $5.99. Alright you guys, back to the handbags. I made a little detour. And now we are back. Seems to be a lot of new stuff, but... What is Liz Claiborne? No. Tia Neo. What is this? Perry Ellis? Oh, I don't know there were Perry Ellis handbags. Alright, Perry Ellis. Nika. A lot of like stuff on the floor. Oh, something's like disintegrating. What is that? T-shirt and jeans. That's the brand of the thing. There's this Zuni, but it's, it's very worn on the corners. But it's made in USA, $11.99. Donna Buckman. And Steve Madden. Catherine Hamnet. Mm -hmm. 
something New York love powers thing. Koenig? Koenig? What's this? Tommy Hilfiger. Guess. Come on, leather handbags. Alfani, this one's leather. Oh, there's like so much dust getting in my eyeballs right now. <laughs> I didn't take any allergy medicine. I'm gonna go blind. My eyes are gonna like tear up and permanently close. Okay. I don't see anything there. Have one last little section to take a look at. Which is right here. We got Night West. Yeah. Like I see there's a Harajuku lover's bag right here next to me. This is actually super duper cute. It might be worth picking up. I've never seen this design before. And this is burp, 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 ten dollars. What do you guys think? Oh wait, what is this weird stain? Okay, there's like a stain on the thing, but uh, there's like kind of like a weird stain throughout the whole thing. Leather. Is yellow, and today all yellow diaper stickers have the price. Nine Okay, I think that's it. I'm gonna go look at the. This is like that fake Fendi print. Okay, let's look at the clothes. Oh my gosh, look how cute these salt and pepper shakers are. Alright. See what we can find. I really want like one of these wooden stands, but one of those like three prong ones. This is like for a book, I think. For a candle. Looking through the mugs and dinnerware. Oh, that's one with like that little flower print. Oh, there's the fancy trash can thing. It's like a trash can. Oh, look at this. A marble um, rolling pin. That's kind of cool. Oh, it's one of these. Oh, oh my gosh. That thing is like, has a mind of its own. Oh, no, no, no. There it goes. Tabletop submitted. There's like a set. Oh, excuse me. I had like a little hiccup right there. Oh, flower plates, Adrian. Be strong. Don't look at them. Alright, there's some, um, I think these are Adidas, some Adidas shoes right here, like Zebra, there's these Nike slippers that are totally broken, so I don't even know why they would resell these, look at that, $7.99, oh, some dog pee pads, I'm just looking through the kids shoes before I leave, but I think I'm about to head out right now, because my panini is probably frozen, well, not this heat, but <laughs> John might have eaten it. I'm just kidding. But um, we're going to go back home right now. I don't see any shoes. But I'll show you guys what I ended up getting when we get home. Come on, child of the day. <gasps> what is that? What is it? What? This does not it's a practice. It's a practice two-wheel bike. You have to practice with it so you can learn how to bike with two wheels. Come on, Zach, go! Wow! 
Wow. <laughs> hey, you matched the bike. Looking good. <laughs> Come on, Zach. You can do it. Oh, look at John. He's ready for his interview. How is it, Zach? John doesn't want me to videotape him, so I'm not going to. I'm just going to videotape Zach biking. Come on, Zach. You can do it. Yeah, but you have to put shoes on first. Look at shoes. Ooh, mommy Sinigang. I'm so What, baby? What do you want? You guys are matching today. Alright, you guys, I'm currently outside, and John and I are probably going to move this furniture back to how it was. We're going to move it back here in the middle. But I do want to leave that where it is. I don't know. We're just going to figure this out. But um, we're going to move this back into here, definitely. Um, I might actually move the fountain. Should I move the fountain? It actually doesn't have too much water in it because it's been evaporating from the summer heat. So it actually will be a lot easier to move right now than any other time. So this might be our time to move it. And I have always wanted to have it right over there. But I do not know. Alright, call me crazy and forgive like the extreme amount of wind noise because it's very windy. But okay, so. This is kind of what I came up with. Why is it not focusing? Focus. Okay. So, okay, see, on this side, you have this, right? You can pass on either side. The table is back there. Oh, there's a table back there. Then you go back here, and it's like, oh my gosh, I can sit down over here. Oh, there's a table. Oh, how nice. <laughs> I don't know. It kind of like, it keeps that there so we don't have to move it for the time being. Plus, we want to have it in like a little more covered area. And then this is like moved over here. Then you can kind of sit here if you want. And then all you have to do is like bring some more chairs over from the like for the other side. I don't know. It's very interesting. It's kind of like parkish. Kind of like we're at the airport, at the mall. That's my current aesthetic. Alright you guys, this is kind of how it's looking. I moved everything up a little bit with John and I don't really hate it. I think it's kind of interesting and because, I don't know, now there's seating at the table before there wasn't any seating unless you brought something over. So I think it's kind of cool. Um, as of right now, I think it's fine until I figure out like a better um, floor plan. But I think it's, oh, you know what would be cool? If I got two like stools to go underneath, that would be very cool. Oh, it would be tray chic, right? I don't know, you, might, you guys probably think this is so ugly. But um, I'm gonna put back the stuff and then figure it out. But like honestly, like look at from inside the house, this is how the room kind of looks. Right, like that looks pretty, that looks pretty good. You can't even see the other chair in behind, right? So you can't see the chair behind, and then when you are over here, it's like, oh, okay. Like you can't really see, like it's like your line of sight, it's like totally perfect. Anyway, um, let me just move back the stuff, and then I'm gonna move this to, and then we're gonna go inside because it's really windy and it's getting dark. Alright you guys, I'm back in my room and I think I finally have the backyard sorted out. I'll show you guys um, how it looks in the morning. It just like the sun just set real suddenly and then it got really dark. And I just put everything kind of like back to where it was. Like the, um, like all the accessories and stuff that were in the backyard. And I moved one of the planters over somewhere else. And I don't know, hopefully it looks good in the morning. It looks pretty good right now. I think I like it. Um, I was really just trying to think of a way to keep that white... Um, like, what is it called? Like, the white console table under the pergola. Because where it was before, like, I think it was getting just too much sun, and it's, like, all wood, and, you know, like, it's better in the shade, and that spot outside gets the least amount of direct sunlight in the whole, like, outside area. So I think 
that it's it would be beneficial for it to stay there and I think it's doing really well there um so I just try to you know, like do everything in my power to keep it in that spot. The only other option would be to move the fountain over somewhere else, but I didn't really want to move the fountain, and it was just like, eh, so anyway, I'm going to end the video here. Today was such an amazing day, just like from going to the Goodwill, doing the thing that I did with them. Again, I don't really want to see anything until it actually happens. I just want to let you know that I did film a little bit of something with um, OC Goodwill, and I can't wait for you guys to see it. Um, I don't exactly know when it's gonna be up, but they are going to send me the video of, like, the edited video, because they're gonna, like, edit it and stuff, I guess, so I cannot wait to see. I hope I'm not a hot mess, like, literally, <laughs> like, everything was kind of done in one take, and they're like, oh, like, do you want to reshoot anything? Like, a lot of, like, people we videotape, like, they, like, are recorded or whatever, like, they want to redo something, and I'm like, oh, no, like, that's not me, like, I don't want to, like, obsess over it and, like, keep redoing it over things over and over, like, it's just, like, let's just do that one thing, and then we're good to go, so hopefully it's good, because, like, after they left, and I was just, like, thinking about it, I was like, oh, I could have done so many other things, but you know what? Like, it, what happened to happen, like, I, I, hopefully it's good, if not, hopefully they can edit it to make it good, <laughs> I don't know, this is like my first foray, like, I've never had anyone actually record me other than myself, I've never had anyone holding a camera recording me or anything, so, it was just like, really like, I was like, even though I, like, I'm all, like, I, I, I'm making these videos and all that stuff, it's totally different when someone's actually physically, st like, when there's actually a group of people standing in front of you, like, it's totally different, like, it's different from me filming in the store where people are around me, because it's another thing when someone's holding the camera, directing it at you, asking you questions, and I'm just like, uh-huh, <laughs> so, um, but it was really fun, it was a really cool experience, I would actually, like, it was actually really fun. I would love to be able to do something like that again. Um, because I feel like now I kind of, like, understand it better now that it's already happened. So, anyway, that's going to end the video. Um, tomorrow, I actually have two of my aunts coming and one of, I think, it, it's my cousin's son. So, is that, like, my second cousin or my, it's not a nephew, my second cousin, right? I think so. Um, so, they're coming over tomorrow, which is going to be exciting. Um... One of my aunts has already been, they, they live in San Diego, and they're always really busy, but one of them's already visited, like, or, uh, she came, like, a, think, like, a few m weeks, a month, a couple months after we first moved in, um, and unfortunately, my other aunt, she was, like, traveling, so she couldn't go with them, and then now, they're both coming with... My little cousin, I'm just going to call him my little cousin, um, is coming as well. So it's going to be really exciting to see them. Um, the little, my little cousin is the same, is about the same age as Zach. Like, I, he's five, Zach is six, but I think he's gonna turning six this year. So they're technically, like, the same age. Um, and they're going to have so much fun because the kids always have so much fun together. They've already met him before, um, but this is just their first time at our house because we've been to San Diego a couple times. A lot of times, actually, <laughs> like, with the kids and stuff. So, they've all, they're good. Um, yeah, I'm super excited. We're planning, like, of course, like, some food. Probably, I think we're gonna do barbecue. So, stay tuned for some delicious food for tomorrow. Um, and then where the kids are gonna swim and just hang out. I haven't seen my aunts in quite a while. I don't think I've seen them in... Oh, actually, well, yeah, no. I've been to San Diego since, but, yeah, I haven't seen them um, for a little bit, for like a hot second, so, super excited about that, it's always nice to see family that you haven't seen in a little bit, um, and I'm excited, so, um, I'm, I'll try to film as much of that as I can, um, ah, I'm just so excited, today was such a fun day, and I can't wait for tomorrow, and, yeah, so that's the end of the video. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, please give the video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to say hi down below in the comments. Oh, and also our, um, what's it called? Our shout out for the day is actually, someone actually ill emailed me, um, Gilbert Cachola. I think that's how you say your name. Um, he said... Guess what I found at the Goodwill, the same glasses that you're wearing. I paid $1.99. Can you see, can you see that? Oh my gosh. If only I paid $1.99 for my sunglasses. <laughs> but 
Congratulations, Gilbert. That is an amazing find. I cannot believe you found those sunglasses for a dollar ninety-nine. I'm shook. So thank you guys again so much for watching. Love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys. Oh, don't forget to tune into to this morning's video as well. To the thrifting video from this morning. New video goes up tomorrow by early at seven. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Just looking through all of these coach bags they have right here. This one is thirty, but it's really worn. <clears throat> Excuse me. I saw this one for a while too. Oh, this one's actually going to be half off. So it's going to be twelve dollars because it has yellow tag. Oh, um, that one's going to be seven. This one's thirty. This one is 